Hi, my name is Alexandra Lele and I'm a testing consultant at IT Convergence. Welcome to our HP UFT tutorial series where we bring to you its most talked about features. We receive a lot of questions re regarding automation tools and we created this series to answer some of them. In the next part of the discussion, we learn how to create a shared object repository. We will create another GUI test and start recording a Windows application. The sample Windows application is called HP My Flight Sample Application. In this application, we log in using John as the username and HP as the password. In this example, London will be the departure point and Seattle the arrival point. 10 of August 2016 is the travel date. The class is economy and we are booking one ticket. We select one of the flights and continue to the next page where we will print the traveler's name, and Smith. We order the ticket and stop the recording. HP UFD populated the action one with Visual Basic script code. To create a shared repository, we will open Object Repository Manager, go to File, New, and then create a new repository by pressing the plus button. We click on any object and then select it to be added to our repository. We click on Home and choose Restore and we save the new repository. In the next video, we'll talk about the navigate and learn feature of HP UFT. If you would like to see us cover any particular aspect, please leave a comment below or email us at testing.itconvergence.com.